Good evening. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Good evening. How are you guys? <laughs> How's it going? How's it going, guys? For me, it's going great. Thanks, God. Really? Uh, Why? A lot of business. <laughs> a lot of business? Awesome. That's good news. Are you in some sort of sales department? Or do you do part of the sales? Um, what do you mean? Um, I mean... Um, if you're opening new lines of business, you mean, or you get new contracts, or is it sales, like acquiring new clients for the bank? All of them. <laughs> I guess all of them. All of that? All of that? Mm -hmm. Wow. But your metrics are measured based on your team. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Even though I have them or not. So it's my responsibility to have uh, all the team complete. Hmm. Hmm. To have all the team. For example, um, I only have um, three, three sellers. And my, how do you say, planta? My plant, but three sellers, oh, three sellers in my uh -huh. plant. I must have three, uh -huh. but I only have two. Mm. But the so, goals are based on three. So you're the third one. So I'm the third one, exactly. Oh. Interesting. And, and happens to, with the tellers, I have 11 tellers. I have uh, six, six uh, service executives, mm -hmm. an assistant branch Cust master, customer service. and me. Mm -hmm. Customer service agents. Huh? Okay. Agents. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's a lot of people under your command. We are thirty because we have a mini branch inside my branch, so. You it have, is a big structure. <laughs> you have a good place to be busy a whole day. <clears throat> That's really good. Yeah. Okay, today is going to be a very interesting class. We're going to talk about brand awareness. We're going to get some vocabulary. Just waiting for the others. The others. Good night, teacher. Uh, sorry if is uh, I am uh, only uh, listen to you because I I am do I'm doing annual inventory. Uh, I'm working. Okay, Elvin. Got it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Okay. okay, let's get this started with, um, how many are we? We are 14 already. 
and we're 27 on the list, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, 27, 14, my God, we're missing 13. Okay, I'm gonna do the attendance. And we move on with the topic. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, sorry, I was in mute. You read. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Elvin Alcides y Isabel Martínez, que ya nos dijo que está acá. Very good. Yeah, present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Excelente. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. ¿Cómo está José Antonio? ¿Cómo siguió? I feel better, please. Awesome. Súper bien. Qué felicidad. Me alegro mucho, de verdad. Me lo digo que salga adelante. Thank you. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Today I'm working. You're working too. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Just time. Just in time. Very good. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Yuri, is Yuri around? No. Okay. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Excellent. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Excellent. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Yet. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Excellent. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Yeah. Suleyma Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Yuri just joined us. Welcome, Yuri. Thank you, teacher. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela is not with us. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Not tonight. Y Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanez. Isera Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Ok, and Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Ok, guys. Tonight, we're going to start reviewing last topic from yesterday the last part of causative verbs. So let's do it together really quick. We have an exercise. Um, this is, just get this straight. Let me see, this was page 26, but there was an exercise at the end using uh, causative verbs. Uh, we saw make and get. Yesterday we reviewed help and let, okay? Training helps small businesses, small business owners replicate the success of big brands. A marketing expert could help you to understand, to understand the basic principles of branding. Just remember, you can use the base form of a verb or the infinitive when you use help, when you use help as a causative verb. What do you understand by causative verbs, by, by the way? How will you translate causative verbs? Exactly, they are verbos causales. Why causales? Why causative? Why? Because there is... Cause. A cause, <laughs> they <laughs> cause something to happen. They cause something to happen, okay? They force or they help 
something to happen. They allow, in these examples, they allow something to happen. Let, allow, let's see, let's see. Some companies let clients go through a service trial before they decide to purchase. Hmm. Okay, so you can try this product. You don't have to pay it. Don't worry, just try it. If you like it, you pay for it. Good. An effective brand lets people explore the benefits of their products. How would you do that? Somebody, how would you let people explore the benefits of your product? Mm. Sample, demos. Excellent. Right. Yes. You get, sorry? Price? Mm, okay. Samples, demos. Go ahead. Here's a small, ex, a small sample, a small sample of our product. Go ahead, give it a try. Let us know how you feel with it, okay? How you feel with this new line of product. Is it beneficial for you? Do you did you like it? So you get feedback from your consumers, okay? Because they're testing the product. And secondly, they get to experience what benefits they get from, from your product. Can you give me an example that of a product that gives you benefits? A product that gives you benefits? Vitamins. Vitamins. True, and they give samples. Okay, another one? Okay, what about this brush? This brush wow. to make the hair grow. Have you seen that brush from TV Offer? For bold people? The ones that don't have hair, they can try the brush. It's ionized, ionized light and it makes your hair grow. Okay. I don't get it. I'm not understanding you tonight. Okay, cool. Let me know if you're not getting it. So let's look at the examples. This is page 26. I will, hold on, let me check again. Yeah, this is page actually 31. 31. Yeah, page 31, you have exercise five. And then how do you design a checklist of the steps to define the brand of a product? These are the basics a checklist of the basics below you know, and discuss with a partner. We have to discuss this checklist with a partner. Your brand relates to your target audience in some way without too much thought. So this, and can you see the screen by the way? No. Yes. 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 Okay. Page 31 guys, exercise five and six. You have to decide whether to use help. Oh, well, you have them there. Help, let, help. Let, let, okay? Help your coworkers, help your classmates deciding what is better, help or let. So exercises five and six on page 31. We're gonna work a lot tonight. But please make sure you speak, you discuss. Oh no, that's not the answer. Yes, that's the answer. No, it's not the answer, okay? Let's go. I'll be all right without you. There'll be someone else. I keep telling myself. Hello. 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 Mm -hmm. Hi. It's page 31, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Exercise 
Number five. Five. How your business? Think your about business. how your business helps your customers. That is why their needs. You agree? Number two. Uh -huh. Think about your business helps your customer satisfy their needs. Mm -hmm. I agree, team. I agree. I agree. Me too. Number two. Investors, investors won't let, let companies develop Develop, uh, develop without a plan to improve business plan. Investors want. Investor wants. No, investor wants. Maybe the um, company. Companies. Might be a let's. Company led with a plan improve business plan. It's no investor in the world. Let's do certify. And the second one is is left, let and develop. With our two or five. Number two. Okay, the first one is help. Help your customer let their needs. I'm uh, not satisfied. Uh, satisfied. Yeah. To satisfy. Mm, is no needed the two. Let me read the sentence. Think about how your business helps this customer. I guess it's to satisfy. For me, it's to satisfy. To satisfy. Remember that is optional. Okay. It's, it's optional. I mean, you, you can use two, you can use the infinitive or the base verb, it's up to you. Okay. It's not like, it's not like make. No, in this case, when you use help, you can use the infinitive or the base verb. Okay. Both. You can use both. With let, look at the example above. In that case, okay. Base form. Mm -hmm. uh, could you repeat the second one? Base or one. Let let com companies develop. Okay, I don't know if you want to practice the pronunciation of the sentences. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe, uh, Miguel, you can read the first one. Okay. Think about think about how your business. Help your customer to satisfy their needs. 
They're neat. Neat. Okay, Erwin. Let me a moment, please. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, investors want, no, investors won't let companies, companies develop without a plan in pro business brand. Okay. Uh, number three, the plan helped employees to become part of the brand. Um, I don't know, Miguel, do you want to continue with number four? Yeah. Uh, being specific about a business, a business brand, let customer identify our product easily. easily. I think it's identify, identify. Identify, yes, I'm sorry, identify. Okay, uh, Erwin, do you want to read number five? Branding let the customer add a perceivable value to the product. Um, Stuart, what is the right pronunciation of perceive? Perceive, perceive yes, value to the product. Perceive it. Perceived. Perceived. I, was, I was on mute, I'm sorry. Perceived. Perceived. Like D. Perceived. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Branding lets the customer add a perceived value to the product. Okay. Branding lets. Today I, I was, um, I found uh, two new words. Mm. I found Trina. Uh -huh. I saw that on the chat, Trina. Yeah, Trina, Trina. Uh, I, I didn't hear that. I never that heard about it. anymore, yeah. I and uh, I found uh, kinda. That's slang. Yeah. But I, I think uh, it's very use it. common. I don't know. Yeah. I I saw that words in these words in two, these words in two songs. Oh, you heard them in two songs. Yeah, yes. they're common in spoken English. Spoken English. Yeah. Not formal, but it, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, I think you look more natural. You sound more natural, totally. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. For example, like me. Oh. Ah, ya da. No, yo no sé. Yo no sí, qué ronca, pensé. qué ronca tiene la voz, Ada. Oh. Es, es, que, es que dice William que hay cervezas dulces, no sabía yo. Sí, claro que sí. Yeah. Oh. Lo que siempre he querido probar de verdad, yo no tomo, pero me he intrigado siempre probar cerveza de raíz. Mm. Por curiosidad, porque los niños les dan eso allá. Pero no sé. ¿A qué se referirán con cerveza de raíz? Dicen que es dulce, no sé. Ok. Mm. The, the question are a lot of a little bit uh, confusing. Okay, uh, is your brand strong enough to give you the internal and external value that you need in your market? Check yes or no for the following the scriptures. Hmm. Internal and external value your brand relates to your target audience instantly without too much thought um your target audience don't think twice about your product i mean they just go for it because mm -hmm. yes. because eh. Because your your brand is very valuable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
your brand relates okay your your brand shares the uniqueness of what you offer and why is it important this has to, a lot to do with how you position your brand uh, uniqueness and why is it important why is your brand unique does your product unique does your brand reflect the need of this product and why is it important tell me about a brand and when you hear it you feel like you need it and you feel that it's unique in this case we choose a brand so you, you said pilsner okay yes uh, is it unique no maybe uh, in the market are a lot of uh, beers uh, with different name flavor but uh, the the essence is the same maybe maybe it isn't it unique what makes a brand unique Mm. Many factors, maybe the the flavor. loyalty with with her with the client, the the flavor for some that that the clients prefer. Okay, wait. Flavors, unique flavors. Okay, uh, unique in our market. Pilsener is only sold in El Salvador, I think. Yes. For example, we no. are, they produce it here. Mm -hmm. It's unique. Yeah, but they sold in Germany. They, they sell in Germany, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that makes it um, Culturally talking, you know, is 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 a unique product in our company in our country. Okay. Okay. Your brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. The brand reflects the promise that you are making okay. to who you are targeting. The brand reflects the promise. What is the promise that you're making to your customers? Um. And the, unforgettable. the sensation of refresh or something like that, the experience. Uh, unforgettable experience. Experience mm -hmm. when you are uh, <laughs> drinking a beer. How, how, the, how, do, how do you feel when you are drinking a, a beer? <laughs> okay, you so know? you're promising your customers, your potential customers, your target audience, that the flavor will be unforgettable yeah yes Ref they will fresh, never refreshing okay now does pilsner reflects freshness you know good flavor i think it does the 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 bottle the bottle color of pilsner is unique that's something that is something it's unique um, and so, yes, they are walking the talk, remember? Uh, they're, they're given what they promise, so that's good. Your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. Your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. <laughs> What values? National product? National product? Okay. Uh, what else? What uh, values? Uh, Is it a family business? Uh, what do you know about this beer? Do you like uh, it? You, you, you like it a lot, but what do you know about it? Is it was it a family business that grows? I don't know uh, uh, about business. 
what values does I, it represent? Mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a family brand. I think it started in Santa Ana. That's really? Why, that's why it launched the Santa Cruz. Yeah. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, the to celebrate the uh, anniversary. I don't know how many years. <laughs> a hundred. Uh, I think it's a hundred. Yeah, it's a lot of years, many years. Okay. Yeah. So they may reflect the family business. They may mm -hmm. reflect the values. Okay. One a value, product. a very important value of a product is that it never changes its flavor. They are committed. They are committed to have always the same taste. So if in 10 years you try another Pilsner, it will still be the same bottle, the same taste mm -hmm. that's a good thing okay it reflects values continuity continuity is a value there you go okay keep it up we're almost done hey. well done actually let's go back Let's play move green light. Let's play move green light. Hmm. Do you like that too? I just finished it yesterday. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so insane. That was too yeah. much was amazing. Would you play it? Mm, no. Man, it was $45 yeah. million. Dollars. No. Ah, that's boring. <laughs> you are the player number one. <laughs> <laughs> if you lie, if you're wrong. I'm not player one. Will you play with me <laughs> one more time? <laughs> so sad. I mean, that broke my heart. It really broke my heart. It's crazy. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. So. Number one, volunteer. Okay. Think about how your business helps your customer safety day now. Uh -huh. Satisfy their needs. Uh -huh. Now I have a question for you. Is it third person? Think about how your business help or helps. 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 Uh, Why? It helps. It helps, so you can replace your, your business with you it. Think about how your business helps your customers satisfy their needs or to satisfy their needs. Both. Both, okay, excellent, both. Number two, investors want. Let companies. Okay, that company is what? Develop with our plan to improve business brands. Develop. Excellent, They've developed. Here is let, you don't have another option. You must use the verb in its base form. Very good. Next, number three, the plan. Helps. Plan helps. Helps employees. Part of the brand. 
Okay, become part of the brand. Do I need to say to become or become part of the brand? Uh, for me, it's for to become. To become, infinitive, okay. The plan helps employees to become part of the plan, part of the brand. In this example, what sounds better? The plan helps employees to become part of the brand, helps employees becoming part of the plan of the brand, or helps employees to become part of the plan. Coming. Sounds better becoming, right? But we haven't better. seen that. We haven't seen that. That sounds better. Okay, just keep that in mind. There's always a different way of doing things. Number four. Are you really resting on your bed? I mean, really? Seriously? <laughs> being specific. Listen, being specific about a business brand. Let. Let or let's? Let's. Let's. Let's customers. Identify. 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 You, can, you don't have another option. Identify our products easily. And last one, number five, branding. Let's. Let's. Let's the customer. Add. 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 Add a perceived, perceived value to the product. All right. Easy. So easy. How do you design a checklist of the steps to define a brand of product? Let's see. Is your brand strong enough to give you the internal and external value that you need in your marketing? Keywords. Key words in this question. Is your brand strong enough to give you the internal and external value that you need in your marketing? Yes or no? First scenario. First scenario. Repeat. First scenario. First scenario. Okay. First. First. I'm going to write that down. First scenario. Okay. Worst case scenario. Okay. Well, let's think about the worst case scenario. What 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 do I mean? What do I mean? You know what? Let's think about the worst case scenario. You know, in the worst case scenario, this could happen. This will happen. In the worst case scenario. Hmm? How would you say that in your own words? Worst case scenario. En el peor de los casos. Más, cabal, en el más peor de los casos. <gasps> Come on, don't do that, please. Never do that. Okay, in the worst case scenario, you will end up losing money. Yes, okay. So for example, so these are scenarios. Number one, scenario number one. Your brand relates to your target audience instantly without too much thought. Your brand relates to your target audience instantly without too much thought. Yeah, okay. does it? Yes. Mm. Without too much thought, they just bring your brand to their memory. Why? You, you are strong enough. You're strong enough. Thank you. Okay. But in what context are we talking about being strong? Marketing. Marketing. Okay, strong enough to give it you internal and external value. Okay, 
let's think about this for a minute. Is your brain strong enough to give you, give you internal and external value that you need in your marketing? What are we saying with this? For example, Inglés Corporativo is a strong company. We never stop the courses. You finish one course, you continue with the other one. This has given um, Inglés Corporativo strong, you know, it, it's given um, strength, I'm sorry, it's given strength to the brand of Inglés Corporativo. Among the other set of five facilities, Inglés Corporativo is the only one, it's the only one that won't, that won't make you wait two, three months to continue on the next module. We finish one, we continue. So continuation, that's the strength of English Corporativo. Continuation, um, what else? The other thing is, um, it's just that, you know, because in this program it's difficult to continue and get more and more students. So that gives me internal value. That gives me external value for my marketing. What, I'm, what I just did, what I'm doing, talking about Inglés Corporativo is marketing. I'm convincing you that this is the best academy and it's true, but this is marketing. Is this marketing internal or, extra or external? Internal. External. Internal. Internal from the, my perspective, external from the perspective of you. You know, I'm selling, I'm selling you the idea. Okay, so yes, my brand relates to my target audience instantly without too much thought, in my case. Yes, your brand shares the uniqueness, oh, uniqueness, uniqueness of what you offer and why is it important, it is important, and why it is important. Yes. It does, Inglés Corporativo. Okay. Yeah, it's, just, it's a unique thing. It's English for work, professional English. Or do you think English, this type of English will make you go and work at a call center, for example? Or at the US Embassy? I don't know, you name it. So yes, it does. The brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. Do you think when you hear Inglés Corporativo, does it reflect a promise? What's the promise? That, uh, you Alex? will able to speak English and you maybe uh, would get a, a, a better job. Uh, no, because we're not saying for. It's not English for work in the U.S. Embassy, for example. Okay, maybe only the, the knowledge. Of it's like it's like speaking. Yeah, the name of the brand is not referring that it's used. You know, for example, English for the U.S. Embassy, English yes. for technicians, English for technicians. <laughs> That's directly, you know, it reflects. I promise you will learn technical English for your technical career. Okay. Now, Inglés Corporativo. Mm, it sounds so professional, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. The brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. This doesn't make sense to me you want to represent as a customer. Or maybe let's paraphrase, let's paraphrase this. Uh, do you feel what, when you hear English Corporativo, do you feel that it is what you want, English for work, English for work? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Kind of, okay. You just want to speak English, right? So you as a customer, I hope you do. I hope you feel identified with the brand. 
And that's the point. That was the point, okay? Questions? No questions, okay. So tonight, I have a challenge for you. On the presentation that I shared with you, uh oh, I misplaced it. Hold on, I misplaced the presentation. On the last Prezi I shared with you, the last slide holds a video. There's a video on the last slide. I cannot show it to you, but I will send you the link right away. Okay. Just a minute. So in this video, you will find a lot of words. Just a minute. No, it's not that one. Hmm. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna send you the link right now. El reto será no reproducir. No, bueno, no van a poder compartir el video en pantalla. So, será un trabajo individual poder ver el video sin necesidad de compartirlo. O sea, tú desde, desde tu dispositivo vas a poder eh, escuchar y leer. Les recomiendo um, poner los subtítulos, activar los subtítulos en inglés de este video, ¿ok? Okay. Okay. Give me one second. And there it is. I'm sending it to the group, okay? There you go. Okay. Activate the subtitles. The video lasts 12 minutes. Okay. So go fast through it no se detengan solo vean de corrido si ven una palabra que no entienden ponen pausa toman nota okay? y luego discutiremos las diferentes palabras para entender todos en la clase vamos a ocupar la técnica del contexto o sea si tú ves una palabra que no entiendes qué quiere decir toma nota junto con la oración uh -huh. For example, you can book more, let's see, more work on photography within or within the same week. Within the same week. What is that? Within the same week. Like inside. Like the week. within the week, yeah, inside the week, between the week. Uh huh, and so on. So Take a look. There's a lot of vocabulary on that video. It's very nice. And this is going to help us getting a better idea of what we want, okay? What we want on branding, on our strategy. Okay? What's our strategy when it comes to branding? So I'm gonna split you one more time, but please look at the video individually. You don't need to share the screen. Just look at the video individually. It's on your WhatsApp. That is the brand you need <laughs> to focus on. But today, specifically, I want to focus on the website portion of brand because having a good mute. Teacher is mute. Ok, perdón. Thank you, Mike. Um, enciendan los closed captions, los subtítulos del video. 
Okay, y traten de tomar nota de las palabras que encuentran. Okay, just watch the whole video. Understand the video, okay? Okay. Okay.
Ready? Sure, I have to see two minutes more. Two more minutes. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, I think we're ready. Slurping, okay. What's slurping? Oh my god, the slurpees. Really? What 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 was the context? The video start. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> what do you think is the meaning? Is that specifically, it is 
slurping. When you drink with sound, when you drink and you force the sound on the, how do you say pahi in English? Straw. Straw. Thank you, Alexander. Okay. You make the sound. Like a That's, sob. Uh -huh, you serve. Uh, slurping. What do you excel at? What do you excel at? That could be an interview question. Book gigs. Book gigs. Book gigs. Book gigs. Book gigs. Book gigs. Computer gigs. We have a computer geek here. Who's the computer geek? Fernando. Fernando. That's right. Grunt. Put it in context, Lema. I didn't get it. Grunt. 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 I don't want to translate. What is grunt? Put it in context. Okay. While you put your comments on the chat, I'll do the attendance really quick. Okay. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Yep. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Okay. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Yosen Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you, Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Isara Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. René, thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, Grunt. What's Grunt, Suleima? I can remember the context. You remember the context, okay? Yeah, he speaks so fast. So fast. He spoke so fast. Remember, you can lower the speed of the video. Oh, okay. Snarled. I heard snarled. Snarled. It's like. <laughs> okay, when your dog goes like. Grunt. Okay. Okay, you got it, gruñido. I'm hoping to equip you. I'm hoping to equip you. Hmm. I'm hoping to equip you with all the necessary tools, dragging and dropping some photos. Dragging, dropping, dragging, dropping. You got it? You drag something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then you drop it. Is with like what you do with your mouse with the pointer, you grab or and then you drag the item and you drop it. Ground zero. What is ground zero? Literally. Literally. Your first. Yeah, like your beginning. Your first your, stage. Yeah. Basic one. Okay. Luthier. There's got to be a context in that word. It can go alone. Luthier. He was talking about his dad, actually. 
He's a luthier. He, did he say yeah. he's he's a luthier? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but luthier is a uh, uh, what do you call this? It's a noun. It's a um, a nickname. It's the way they call this wise people. Let's say wise people in yeah. something. Wise people in yeah. something. What is his dad wise on? His dad was building or making guitars. Good. And he helped him to, to create our website. Okay. Portray. And he mentioned. Yeah. What is portray? Uh, when, in, when you when you are using your cell phone, uh, your your cell phone in in this way is portrayed in this way is landscape. Oh. In the, in, this, in this context, as I, I don't know if when let when me, uh, he let was you, let me give you another was, context. Yes, he was he was speaking about a website. A website. I don't know if. if that's oh, but that's portrait. That's portrait. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Oh. It's kind of the same thing. But in this context, for example, today I smell a fragrance on a lady, on a lady, and that brought me a memory. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I, uh and I, I know, I know. And I portrayed, I portrayed my ex car. I was like, I, I was like this because I was inside the car. I was near to Irwin's. I was at Irwin's business tonight, today in the afternoon, repairing my car. Right. Then this lady went by with the smell, and I, and I was like, like that, literally. I portrayed her face, her her smell. I was like, what? I remember the smell. That was amazing. Your brain is amazing. Okay, that was many years ago. Dragging and dropping. Let's see, ground zero. Portray. Aesthetic. Aesthetic. What's aesthetic? Come on, context, address, aesthetic. Without moving? Um. That's yeah. static. That's static. static. Uh huh. Static. When he was creating or static. describe a part of uh, the website. Oh, okay. It has to be aesthetic. You know, no errors. No, a lot of mm -hmm. not a lot of content on the website. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Be it sure. needs to be clean. It's a synonym of clean. Uh huh. Heidi. Can I can I make you a question that doesn't have to see with all of this? Yes, please. I'd like to know how you pronounce your Facebook name, Meta, Meta. How would you pronounce it? A Facebook name, Meta. Their, their new brand. Facebook they changed the, their name. They to their name what? Today. Are mm -hmm. you kidding me? Oh, are you saying Facebook Beta? No, Meta. no. Meta, Meta is the name. It is name of the, the new brand mm -hmm. of when Facebook now is named Meta. Meta. Or Met. Meta. Yeah. Meta. Is the Hackerway. Why did they do that? Like a matrix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one screen it's about uh, virtual reality. Virtual reality? Yeah, you want you are going to be able to create your avatar. Ah, uh, no, that's too much. <laughs> he went too far away. Okay, but is Facebook continuing? Will we have Facebook and Meta now, or is just Meta? It's just Meta. Maybe, maybe with with the time, uh, he will transition transitioning. To, no, to actually, Meta. No. actually, Meta is Facebook is going to be work under Meta, but the same name, Facebook, like a soup, a soup mask. 
Yeah. A soup mask system, a system on the background, the background system. Okay, I got it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's Meta. That's crazy because there's already something called MetaBank. It's a bank called Meta, MetaBank. That's odd. I heard that Facebook uh, is creating her his own currency, like uh, what? BTC or no. Other. Yeah, wow. I, I think hmm. uh, the name is about that. that you think, do you think, do you think companies, like companies are evolving into currencies? I mean, yes. big stockholders, you're talking about stock, stock shareholders. I think that's the way, right, Haiti? Stock shareholders. Yeah. So big store shareholders. <laughs> I'm sorry. My dog just started running all around the house mm -hmm. and I got scared. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, <laughs> stock shareholders. So, do you think stock shareholders, big companies, will evolve mm -hmm. into yes. current currencies? That's, that's a thought. Oh my God. That's the evolution of Could be. The companies. I mean, why would you invest on Wall Street when you can invest in a company? Mm interesting okay so luthier i we went out of the context i can't remember the context shenigan shenny how did you she how did he pronounce that word shenanigans 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 all of this shenanigans travesuras shenanigans that's crazy i can't remember the concept shenanigans luthier that it's is that is laid off laid out properly that's laid out that that it's laid out properly what do you mean Jenny oh I think the laid out yeah yeah the laid out the layout and it's l a y actually the layout properly maybe the the the, the the closed captions of YouTube were not good enough. Laid out properly. The layout of your page, okay, that's the layout. And so on. And did you like the video? Yeah, I did. Yes. Yeah. What, what does this have to do with branding and what? how will you use that video? Let me give you an advice. Whenever you see something good, a good video, a good book, try to apply it to your reality in your company, especially if you have a, um, a supervisor position, you know, something where you can make changes or suggest changes. So what did you like about the video? How do you relate the video to branding? We have two minutes for this, who can talk? How do you relate this video to the branding topic? What does it have to do with branding? Actually, the video talk about, um, yeah, about the brand, you know, because it's, it's stick together because if you need to create the, your brand, your logo first, and then you need to create your own website, it's a ground zero, right? Because I remember that the video is talking about talk about the the people only has 16 seconds. Yeah, you need to capture attention in this in these seconds, right? Mm. Uh, about your brand, you need to. For that reason, he said that uh, you need to be simple in your website, right? straight to the point and capture your attention and get your customer or create your links actually about your brand. I, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, it was that simple, right? But there's a question related to this video that I want to come up with. Okay, 
what is brand awareness? What have you understood about brand awareness? Uh -huh. No, about the people, about the brand. To be familiarized with the brand? Exactly. Yeah, that's what it is. So I have a question for you. First question. Should a small business invest on raising, it's not rising guys, raising brand awareness? Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? Let's work together. In El Salvador, what is a small business? What's a small business in El Salvador? Expose. <laughs> no. Expose. Panes chucos. Any proposal? No tolera. Really? Chori. No chori. <laughs> how many? How many carritos? How many food trucks? Chori trucks are? Do you think that are on the street nowadays? Every day, how how many food trucks or chori trucks do you think there are in a daily basis? At least a hundred. I remember when I started administration, I remember that it was based on a table and it depend or it was up to, it was up to the amount of employees your company held. It was up to the amount of employees. If you had over 80 employees, I think, or a hundred and something, you were a medium business. Over 200, you're a big business. Small business, anything below 80, anything below 50, it's a small business. Okay. Mm. But I'm being told by the other administrator in this house that um, it's based on the amount of sales. So if you have huge sales, you are a big company. So it is up to the um, volume of money that you move. Haiti, what do you think? Is that is that the way it is? What is a small business? A small business, an example. Yeah, no, I mean, what do you based in, in the bank? What do you consider a small business, a medium business? Uh, a business? Okay, uh, uh, we... We level them in the amount that they, uh, I don't know how to say, facturar. So yes, it's based on the sales. It's based on the sales. Mm -hmm. My wife is right. Listen to your wife. Listen to your girlfriend, Gary. Guys, they are very wise. No, 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 honey, please. Okay, good. Listen to them. It's very important, okay? She doesn't speak English anyways. But let's see. So it's very important for you to have this concept in your mind, small, medium, big business. So should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? What do you think? A small business, is it necessary to invest on making people aware of your existence? If you want to grow, Yes. Okay, you want to grow. Let's remember demand versus offer. Yeah. Let's say you have a good product. You're a small business, but you have an amazing product. You're just starting. But you're a small business. What happens? If you create, if you call too much the attention, 
If you make a fuss, remember, if you make a fuss in the market and you're a small business, what's going to happen? Come on, guys. Um, your demand is going to increase. Your demand is going to increase. So therefore, you're going to increase your offer. Your business is going to grow. But are you prepared? If you're prepared, then awesome. Let's go ahead and do it. That's my point of view. So yes, it's good to invest on raising brand awareness. If you have a good product, if you can take the hit, if you can take the hit, this is gonna be a huge hit. You know, people is gonna start calling you, hey, send me a hundred units. Oh, I'm sorry, I just produced 10 units every day. Okay. Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product brand awareness really quick? What is the main strategy right now for all companies and entrepreneurs to increase brand awareness? What's the main source? Social media. Social media. Good, Alexander. Yes, that is the main source to increase brand awareness. You just make a post on Twitter, you tag the president and boom. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that, right? But you can, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you know, you may call everybody's attention and everybody's going to go like, wow, that's a great brand. Right? Is that a strategy? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So in this session, the last part of this session, we need to describe different stages of a product's brand awareness. Let's look at the next, uh, the following conversation. This is page 33. And we're going to talk about brand awareness. Listen and practice. <clears throat> I'll just do it. Page 23. I'm sorry. Page 33. Exercise two. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you're right. Everyone, everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it. Let me repeat that, I'm sorry. This cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay, I don't like this expression. It's not natural. Okay, vamos a ver, señores de Intermedio 3. ¿Cómo más podría decir esta oración? Simply get, no. Yes. Think about Simple. the meaning, think about the meaning of the expression. Solo ponele. This is just, the minute. This is the minute. Solo ponele. Just instead simply. Just. Yeah. But you're not given the same idea. Simple add. Simplemente agrega. Uh, come on, think about the meaning of this. Someone said just. Okay.
Give up? Do you give up? <clears throat> okay, there are different just ways of said. just said. Yeah. Just picture this. You can say just picture it. Just picture this. Just imagine. Just imagine. The owners of the brand, mm, just imagine that sounds too basic. Okay, just picture it. The owners of the brand aren't trying so hard to create brand awareness for their product. Just picture it. Just picture this. Um, you could also say, analyze it. Picture it. As simple as that. Picture it. The owners of the brand aren't trying so hard to create in my 32 years speaking English, I never heard a gringo saying simply put. Okay, so erase and rewind. Okay, let's practice this conversation together. Then I'll bring some of you to the front to repeat and make sure you acquire pronunciation. Got it? Got it. Okay. Señores, les recuerdo que terminamos nuestras clases. Solo para que sepan, eh, necesito que todos hayan terminado hasta la, este módulo 3, perdón, el, um, la, unidad, la unidad 3, la unidad 4. ¿Por qué? Porque terminamos el 4 de noviembre. Jueves 4 de noviembre terminamos el módulo, ¿ok? We're in the last week. We are on the last week, people. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Caroline. Let's go. She's like, what? Me? Okay, I I'm Celia. Okay, I will be Okay. I just discovered this new brand in cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visit their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. More popular. <clears throat> It's probably an unknown brand, simply but the owners of the brand are in trying to hard to create the brand awareness, awareness for the product. This is very important when the launch of a new product. I guess you are right. Everything, oh no, sorry, sorry. Everyone know about Coca-Cola and Pepsi. But I have never seen a, an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, con <clears throat> sorry, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names in other words. This Cinnamon Soda, you are talking about this to make people recognize if they get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay. Switch. Okay, I will be Celia. Okay, be solo you. antes de <coughs> antes de que continúen. Este, no lo no voy a poder traer, bueno, sí, más o menos. Okay. Um So, uh eso lo tienen que hacer todos, ¿eh? Quieren mejorar su lectura, su pronunciación. Cuando lean algo, vayan palabra por palabra y articulen la primera, la décima vez, ¿ok? Lean lento y despacio, lento y despacio, como nos pica Pedro, ¿ok? I guess you are right. 
everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, porque es importante. Pueden hacer algo, ojo, eh, todos. Volver a escuchar la parte en la que les leí esta, 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 uh, esta oración, estas oraciones en el video e ir poniendo pausa, regresando, identificando esto nada más. ¿Dónde está el estrés de la sílaba? ¿Consumers o consumers? Mm -hmm. Consumers. Ajá, ¿ves? Siguiente, ¿no entendiste? ¿Images? No, no dijo images. A ver, le doy para atrás el video y vas a escuchar que digo images. Image. Images. Ok, and names, in, their, in other words, this cinnamon or cinnamon. El estrés recae en la primera sílaba, cinnamon. Uh -huh. Y la última, competitive or competitive. Right? Competitive. Competitive. Entonces, ese ejercicio no lo hagas solo con esto. O sea, hazlo cada vez que le das algo o veas el video de algo. Ahí les he compartido una página en la que hay 250 audios de conversaciones entre dos personas. Y ahí está todo el texto de cada conversación. Entonces, tú lo puedes descargar, el texto, copiarlo, imprimirlo y escuchar y ir señalando el estrés de la sílaba, que se vuelve un ejercicio. Ya identificaste el estrés, ahora empezás a leer lento, despacio, y ahí le vas poniendo velocidad. Yo te aseguro que tú solo, uff, rapidín. Yes, Zuli. Teacher, go. Ready? Sorry, I can explain Spanish. Yes. Ok, teacher, ¿cómo puedo hacer, por ejemplo, para saber... ¿Dónde colocar el estrés a las palabras? Así como usted dice, ¿hay alguna regla o alguna forma o solo tengo que aprendérmelas? Mamita, sí hay reglas, pero eso ya es fonética y se ven avanzado 18, no sé qué cosa. No me gusta la fonética porque son símbolos, ¿se acuerdan de los diccionarios que tenían una E al revés? Ajá. La E sua. Sí hay reglas de fonética, pero eso es bien fumado. Entonces, ¿qué haces tú? Ocupas tu oído. Te vas a un lugar donde no hayan niños, donde no esté el esposo, donde esté el chucho, no hay nadie. Y te concentras, ponerte los audífonos de esos violadores, como dicen, del oído, que solo tú vas a escuchar y no escuchas nada más. Para bien el oído, le das reproducir, va dándole play, identificando. Si yo te digo cinnamon, si te digo discovered, ¿dónde está el estrés? Discovered. En la O. En la O. Disco. Verd. Okay. Hmm. Visited. But when I visited. ¿Dónde está el estrés? En la I. Mm -hmm. Visited. ¿Cómo lo hago entonces? Con el texto ya impreso. Empezás a anotar. Yo te recomiendo que hagas esto. Pone un simbolito más o menos así. Sobre el estrés de la sílaba. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. Porque en inglés uh -huh. no existe la tilde. ¿Ok? Existe el estrés de la sílaba. Y este ejercicio te va a ayudar a parar bien el oído. A mejorar el listening. Y por último, a mejorar la pronunciación. Ya marcaste un montón de triangulitos sobre dónde está la, el estrés. Ahora lees y te aseguro que vas a leer bien desde la primera vez. Si tenés presente, ¿dónde está el estrés? ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, do it again. Ok. Just discover this new brand of cinnamon soda is delicious, but when I visited their farm page, I saw they only had 300 likes. I wonder why isn't It isn't more popular. It is probably an, a, a no brand, simple proof. The over of the brand aren't tried too hard to create brand awareness for the for the product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess. 
you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I had never seen an app for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand and their images and names. In other words, the cinnamon soda you are talking about news to make people recognize and to get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay. Well, yeah. So did you watch did you watch on on English? No. I uh, no, it's uh in Spanish, but Spanish of Spain. <laughs> Castellano. I don't know how to say in English. Castellano? Castellano in English. I don't know. Yeah, actually, Netflix just named it European Spanish. How? Netflix has yeah. named it European Spanish. Wow. That's funny. It's funny. It's weird. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of weird. Castilian. 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 Castilian, yes. Castilian. I prefer listen. I prefer listen English movies than Castilian. Uh, translate. <laughs> it's too. ugly. Me too. It's, it's rare. But Correct. sometimes you have to. Yeah. El broma. <laughs> broma. I don't know why they did that. Okay. Let's go back. You read a little, right? You read sometimes. Okay. Let's go back. Yeah. Okay, really quick. How many are we? Are we back? Okay, tonight I'm staying with Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto for 10 minutes after the class. I agree. Excellent. You better. Okay, so, <ríe> okay, guys, me voy a detener un minuto para darles un consejo que a todos les va a servir. Lo estaba haciendo con un grupo, pero luego noté que sí es necesario que todos se pongan las pilas con esto. En inglés no existe la tilde, ¿verdad? Existe la estrella de la sílaba. Alguien me estaba preguntando, teacher, pero ¿y cómo hago para identificar el el estrés, o sea, que, o sea, pero de una perspectiva gramatical es bien complejo, porque entonces entramos a hablar de, de uh, fonemas y todo esto, y eso se llama fonética. La fonética a la vez en la mayoría de cursos de inglés, que viene desde antaño, o sea, suele enseñar la fonética hasta el último módulo de avanzado, porque es algo aburrido, algo tan tedioso que... Imagínate ponerle reglas a los sonidos que producís con tu boca. Mm, no. ¿Cómo entonar? O sea, no. Entonces, ¿qué te recomiendo yo? Puedes volver a ver este video o los videos en los que yo les he leído alguna conversación como esta. ¿Ok? O ahí les compartí el, el link de Ron Chang, donde hay van de 250 audios. Agarra uno, les he dicho a todos, en la primera sesión que hemos tenido siempre. Agarra un audio, imprimí eh, la conversación o escribí en un cuaderno. Segundo la tarea, le das play. A ver, y les, les hacía el ejercicio en un grupo. Ayúdenme a identificar el estrés de la sílaba. Discovered. It's discovered. 
Where's the stress? Discovered. In co. Mm -hmm. Discovered. Discover. Entonces, ¿qué puedes hacer? Agarró un lapicero rojo y empezás a marcar. Yo te recomiendo esto. Como un pequeño triángulo. Ok. Para que no se vea como una tilde, porque no existe. Brand of cinnamon. Cinnamon. What is it? Sí. Cinnamon. Ok. Sí. Correct. Next. Alguien lo dijo mal por ahí. Deli delicious. Delicious? Mm -hmm. No. Delicious. No. Delicious. Lily. Lily. Correct. Delicious. Visit it. V. V. Oh, visit it. Uh, only 300 or 300. All right. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. Más difícil. Uh, oh, popular. Po. 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 Popular. Vaya, y a mí me cuesta esa palabra. Yo siempre digo popular. Ah, entonces vengo y digo po. Piu. Y solo eso le voy a dejar ahí. Una I y una U. No puedo escribir con esta cosa. Popular. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Popular. Popular. ¿Ves? Probably. Probably. Pro. Ahí vas. Oh. Unknown. Un. Un. Unknown. Unknown brand. Y ahí vas. Ahí vas. Cada vez que vas una palabra nueva, lo primero que tenés que hacer es marcar el estrés. ¿Dónde es el estrés de esa palabra? Segundo, ya tenés una um, conversación así, ya marcaste el estrés, entonces empezás despacio, lento y despacio, lento y despacio. Luego le metes velocidad, poquito a poco, y de repente vas a sentir que estás pronunciando como gringo. Te lo juro, esto funciona. Ok, next. So, why is cinnamon soda not so popular? It's an unknown brand. It's an unknown, it's an unknown brand. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes? Now mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Why is it unknown? Because I have never seen another on TV. In the context of the conversation, why is the cinnamon soda not known in the market? Because we don't have any the owner marketing of the brand strategy. aren't trying too hard to create a no brand. brand awareness. Okay, Heidi said it doesn't have a marketing strategy. They don't have a marketing strategy. So they might say that they are not trying hard enough. Um, let's look at the other side of the coin. Let's look at the other side of the tortilla. They are competing on the soda market. How many soda yeah. brands? How many soda brands can you name? Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Just that? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Cola Champagne. Cola Champagne. Coca-Cola. Coca -Cola. Sprite. Coca Sprite. Seven Up. Seven Up. Oranjal. Porque existe, mm. Mirinda. Cola, Mirinda. Oh my God, I have 11. I have, oh my God, 12. Mountain. I have 12. So it's a huge market and you're launching Coffee a new cola. flavor. Coffee cola, really? What? Yeah, Coca-Cola. New Coca-Cola with coffee. Oh, I heard. I, vanilla. Vanilla Coca Coke. Pepper, mm -hmm. Yeah, in the States. Coffee cola. In the States, it's worse. You have so many other brands. Okay. So, uh, what? A very what? saturated market. Proud. A saturated market of products. Too many brands. Okay. So what is an important step to consider when launching a new product? An important step when launching a new product. Create brand awareness. Mm -hmm. Great brand awareness about the characteristics. Okay. About the product. What is Lucas' recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? Logo. 
logo. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, okay. Okay. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. Vocabulary related to branding. Let's do it together. Again, let's identify the definition for each attribute of brand awareness. This is the ability of customers to identify your brand by its attributes. Listen, brand awareness is the ability of customers to identify your brand by its attributes. So let's look at this some stages of brand awareness. Brand recall. Oh my God, I know what is that. What is brand recall? Get it, get it, get the it. First, the first brand customer can think of a product category. No. Or mm -hmm. a consumer is able to recall the name. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's look at the other options. Brand recall, recognition, top of mind. Brand dominance, unknown brand. Let's go from the easiest to the hardest, okay? Unknown brand. First one. Customer don't recognize your brand. Recognize your brand. <laughs> yeah, no brand. Totally. Oh my God, they don't know my brand. How frustrating it must be, right? You don't know what's my brand. Customers don't recognize your brand. Okay, so that will be number five. Mm, brand dominance. Brand dominance. Uh, the first brand customers can think of for a product category. For me, that's top of mind. Consumer can correctly identify a particular product. Ah. One more person to agree with Fernando or Haiti. Haiti is saying that top of mind is consumers. I mean, the first brand customers can think of a product category. Yes, okay. Yeah. Top of mind. It's a top of mind brand, okay. So what is brand dominance? Uh, for a minute, the second. Consumers. The second one? Mm, no, it's customers. You know what? Yes. Brand dominance. Read. Any. Customers can't recall any brand but, but yours. Yours. For a particular product category, if I say soda, you say Coke. You say Pepsi. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Top of mind, we have it. Okay. Unknown. Recognition. Consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Consumers um, can correctly identify a particular product. For me, that is top of mind. Which one? A consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Mm. Uh, brand recall. Brand recall. I will say brand recall. Brand Let, let's, they're very similar, actually. They're very, very similar. So we will stay with this one, one, two. This will be number two, recognition. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. And it makes sense, recognition. You see an ad, you see a, a, un pollo amarillo con a hat, right? A cowboy's hat. It is what it is. Teacher, can you repeat the pronunciation of the last word? Q. 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 A visual Q. Now, in this context, this is 
I, I didn't remember in this context, you can use that word. In the call center context, when you have a lot of calls in queue, when you have many customers in queue, um, at the bank, when you have a, a long queue, when you have a long queue at the bank, it's a big line, a big row of customers. But in this, a visual queue, mm, I don't know how will I translate that. Google, please. A visual queue, visual queue. What do you got first? What? We're sorry. Our service is unavailable at the moment. Please call back later. <laughs> Fernando. Ah, se le fue el inter. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Visual cue, Fernando. Visual cue. Okay. Yes. Hmm? Mm. The same, actually. Really? How, how would you translate that? Cono uh, visual. Cono yeah. visual. No. no. Cola visual. Una cola hey, visual. <laughs> no, I don't know. There's got to be a different, some sort of context. Yes. I did. Uh, have, hmm. have better explanation, yeah. Mm. English. Mm. Appearance like of a graphic display. Cola de espera visual. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. In that context, that's odd. Okay, guys, we have to go. I'm staying with Alexander tonight for 10 minutes. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, no se pierdan la clase de mañana. Es viernes, yo lo sé. El cuerpo lo sabe. El cuerpo lo sabe. Please, you gotta be here. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Uh, wait, what? Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Uh, good night. Good night. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good night. Fernando good Ernesto night. Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubillas night. Hernández. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present, good night, everybody. Good night, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Roberto Luis Omañorellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Yes. Present. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Suleima Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanez. Present. Good night. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present. Good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, okay, mister. What's up? I'm doing good, actually. You know really? what? I am. Yeah, today I I get a new position in my company. Wait, you got a new position? Yeah, I got a new position. Yeah, actually, I was applying for backup, WFM backup. Yeah, they told me WFM workforce management backup. 
What happened to that? Yeah. Yeah, today they they told me that I was selected for that position, but yeah, it's only backup that I can learn and I can no calls. Uh, met... 50 50. 50 50. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. It's a good deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm going to sacrifice my my weakness. My my no, you weaken. Sorry. <laughs> really? Weakness. Why? Because I am working only for Monday to Saturday to Friday. From do it yeah. again? Because I'm only working. I'm only working from to Monday mm -hmm. no, from Monday to Saturday to Friday. One more time, because I'm only working from Monday through Saturday. No, Saturday and Sunday. Wait, 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 are wait. My day off. Okay, Saturday and Sunday, the weekend was your time off. Yeah. Not anymore. No. Okay, one more time. So I was <laughs> I was working from Monday to Friday. I was working from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. And now. And now my shift. My shift. Mm -hmm. It's going to be changed. It's going to change. It's going to change. To? To, um, but well, Monday. Through Sunday. Uh, no. No, actually, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have my time off Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, now you have weekdays off. Yeah. At least two together Tuesday yeah. and Wednesday Wednesday and Thursday or Tuesday and Wednesday no Tuesday and Wednesday but you know weekends are not that busy yeah, I, I've well, never yeah I've never seen a service reventated you know back to back on weekends on Saturday or Sunday never seen a business I mean a line of business on any call center uh, with a lot of calls on weekends. That's not normal. That's unusual. So how do you but feel? Actually, hey, yep. I, but actually on weekends, I'm going to only work for dual EFM. I, yeah. You're not going to take calls. Yeah. I'm only going to work. Repeat. I'm only going to work. I'm only going to work. I'm only going to. I'm only going to. I'm gonna I'm, I'm only gonna only work. Gonna, I'm only gonna I'm work. Only, I'm only gonna work for WFM. Only for WFM, yeah. Or on WFM on work first management position. Okay. So what is it about? Yeah, me is actually creating a schedule work as uh, reports about oh working. really? Yeah. Wait. Creating reports about traffic, about uh, adherence. Adherence. Okay, yeah. You have to work the adherence of the agents. Wow. And you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of experience. You're gonna get you're yeah. gonna get you're gonna get a lot of you're gonna get a lot of you're gonna get a lot of experience. <laughs> That's what you should do right now. Start practicing with some slang words that will allow you to to work with your tongue right now. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm sure I'm sure you're gonna get it. I'm sure you're gonna get it. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna get it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> See, yeah. it's like a tongue twister, but that's natural English and just release your tongue. So man, they're hiring a lot right now and um, at this other place, but I will recommend you three, six months on that position, see how things go, you know, if you can get it set, you know, just workforce management. If they give you the position later and they increase your salary, good. If not, get the experience six months from now, then move on. Improve your English and then move on. 
okay? If you yeah. like, if you like the place where you're working right now, then let them know, hey, you know what? You gave me this position. It's fine. I have been supporting the position for six months and now I can speak English better. Can you give me an interview and maybe go to a line where I need, where I can use the English, you know, and have a salary increase? Yeah. yeah. To make more money. So Sometimes it's a good, come on. It's a good deal. Uh huh. It's a good deal. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. You're right. Sounds good. That's better. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Um, why do I tell you? Why do I scold you when I hear this from you? Is because when you are in front of your boss and you make these little mistakes, these very little honest mistakes, your boss will go like, mm. right? He will never correct you. Bosses never correct employees. Bosses leaders do leaders correct you let me give you an example of what happened today just for your own experience the whole day in the morning since 5 a.m there's a new tool a new tool and i asked hey this new tool you gave us guys we are supposed to check the email and the phone of the caller for security purposes. For security purposes, ask for their email, their phone, and it has to match with the system. But where do I input, I don't know, their account, their account number, okay? Where do I input their account number in this tool to get the data in it? Nobody answered. The whole morning, my boss, another team lead, you know, or supervisor, three supervisors, everybody ignored me. They were like, we don't know. Oh my God. At the end of the day, like around noon, one new, a new, well, no, it's not, it's not a team leader. It's not a supervisor. It's just a support, a floor walker, you know, you know, what is a floor walker, right? So he called me through the system, through Teams. And he was like, okay, this is where you go. Look on the screen, open that, close that, hit enter, go here, go there. I was like, oh my God, it was so simple. And nobody knew about it. I mean, wow. So that's a leader, that's a boss. A boss will never, I mean, a boss will always go like, ah, I don't know. A leader will tell you, hold on, let me find out. Okay, right now. This is the solution. You see? Yeah. Take that attitude. Take that attitude. Whenever they tell you, hey, Alexander, can you stay? Because this is going to happen to you. After two days, three days, if they see you, cheese, pop, pop, pop. Hey, this guy is good. Hey, can you stay and look at the queue? Can you look at the queue, please, for me? Most likely, they will go like, I need break. Okay, give me a minute. That's your job, right? Yeah. Traffic, traffic. You have to check the traffic. Okay, go to break. Can I go to the bedroom? Uh, give me five minutes. Okay, go. The whole day, Papa. That's going to be <laughs> amazing. It's an amazing experience because you get to see the forecast of the calls. You yeah. See? Get prepared. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. If you need my Thank help you. with anything, just let me know, okay? Yeah, okay. Take care, man. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.